Good day. It's almost 12 o'clock. Almost lunchtime, and my stomach is already rumbling. And this is one of those days where there's nobody around. The occasional car goes by, but uh, nobody walks because it's a rainy, rainy day. And um, also, I can't really see a lot. I like looking at the road. I'm one of those people that could sit all day and just watch people go by. I can go to the mall and watch people go by. I don't have to interact with anybody as long as I can watch them. It's harder with this dumpster there. And of course, there's nothing happening with the dumpster because of the rain. me and the dog. So I have my books. Oh yeah, she's looking at the door. She wants to go inside. Um, so I have my books. Obviously they're not that enticing right now. So uh, also I've had two big mugs of coffee this morning. <sighs> Foolish me. One is enough. That keeps me going to the washroom. I've had two. All I do is read for a few minutes and go to the washroom. All she does is gets herself tangled because her, her rope is extremely long and it, I try to block her off from places where she'll get tangled but there's only so much I can do and I have stuff under my chair I have stuff beside my chair I have you know all the places where it actually gets caught not just places where she can get wowed this old wood porch the string gets caught on things so I have buckets at the dumpster I have a bucket at this corner. Buckets because they're round, okay? String, the, the line gets caught at corners. So I try to put round corners. The only thing I have that's round is my buckets. And I only have two buckets. There goes Buford. It's Buford. Go see what Buford's doing. <laughs> Go see what Buford's doing. <laughs> Shh. No, 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 I don't. I said, that didn't mean bark. I <laughs> it's my fault. Okay, thank you, Nana. Don't listen to me much. Got a cute bark though. I really don't mind it. It's a neighbor. It's Buford. Why are you barking at the neighbor? This you shouldn't bark at the neighbor. That bothers me. Mm, yeah. So I've got the round things barking the places where her line can get. Hey, come here. Come back. But she can. You cannot jump on me because you have wet paws. Yes. You're good. Good girl. You're a good watchdog. Yes. And it's not raining now, so you're good. You don't have to shake off. No. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, buckets. The only things that I have that are around that are protecting the edges where she can get caught. Pretty much. I've blocked off that opening there by opening the door completely. It's really hard because it's falling off its hinges. So on and so forth. And every now and then, that noise. What I thought was um, a car horn going off 
seems to be, well, my son and I went for a long walk yesterday and we found the source of the noise, which seems to be Canadian General Tower factory down at the bottom of the hill, really old factory. And they have machinery running constantly. And that is the source of what sounds like a car horn at times. So obviously I'm in a semi-industrial area. That's the only industries in this area. Canadian General Tower. They make uh, parts for cars, um, car seats, okay? So they make car seats, so it involves, I used to go out with a guy who worked there and it has all to do with color and you know, car seats are a certain color, so whatever. Anyway, they have this machinery, not a horn, that makes a sound that when the wind blows it in this direction, you can hear it. And we noticed as we were walking, it would come in and out as the wind blew in that direction. How bizarre. Sound gets blown by noise, blown, blown by wind. Really, probably knew that, did not. So sometimes you can hear it and sometimes you, sometimes you can't. And then it rains, and there is a morning dove sitting on the line, just in my view. Okay, so there's a little triangle of the power line, and the morning dove is sitting just in the sky in that triangle. And she's been sitting there, it's been sitting there. Just flew away. We like to call morning doves she's. There have to be both kinds, right? Yeah, both kinds. That's the first time that I've seen Buford go for a walk. Anyway, uh, it's not raining right now, but every time that uh, she gets stuck out in the backyard, I have to free her because I cannot make it. I mean, here's the entire backyard. So she can get stuck if she goes the wrong way around the tree. She can get stuck if she goes around. Now, I've moved a lot of things in the interim that she got stuck on. So could, she can no longer get stuck on the barbecue or between the barbecue and the house. <laughs> between the chair, between the chair, between the plant table and the stuff stored under a um, tarp behind the house, there is, well, she can't go there because there's stuff stored under a tarp behind the house. A whole bunch of stuff, all this stuff. The wind is obviously turned or it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain. The shed that was behind the shed, which held lawnmower, random chairs, uh, rakes and stuff like that, which is now empty. And the chairs that were in it are behind the house, which I've, I've moved them so that they cannot cause her to get stuck. You move things out, you don't think that someone's gonna get stuck. This dog will get stuck because this dog is curious and um, will go around the wrong way. So either the factory, when it makes as a certain point, it produces a certain noise, and then it doesn't. So either the wind shifting causes it to come in and out, or the factory makes the noise and doesn't make the noise. Whatever. 
the noise comes in and out. At times it sounds like a car horn. And it's gone again. See? In and out. And then the rain starts. And then a little bit of wind causes the tree to trip like crazy, which makes it seem like it's raining. But really at times it does rain. Okay, I've been blathering, right? I'm sure there was a point to this video. Maybe it was the hunger that I'm feeling because it's almost noon. Am I bored? Not really, because I do have my book. I was chatting to my daughter this morning, talking about the rain. She had a dentist appointment today, which I was actually asked to babysit for, but could not because I have no car. I called about my car this morning. My car will not be ready until Thursday or Friday. I have a hairdressing appointment, haircut, hair color, on Thursday at nine o'clock. I may not have my car back. I may have my car back. I may not have my car back. So I tried to change or discuss this with my hairdresser. They are only working for three days a week in the summer. So obviously the rest of the time they go to the cottage that they have. Although they did say they were closing that I'm not going to the cottage. They sold the cottage. I'm not sure. Anyway, so they are only they only work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in the summer. I don't know if it's all year round or just in the summer, but it only says Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday when I give them a call. So I chatted with my son about that, and I told him that. And we discussed that. Wind or rain? I think it's just wind causing the tree to lose more of its water. Anyway, I've completely lost track of this video. It's a random facts video. Random facts about my day.